hi awesome person hello awesome humans hi people and anyway hello to this wonderful situation and welcome back if you have not subscribed yet please give us some loving subscribe to our channel as well as like this video please so most of you that watch this channel know me personally you know that i live in cape town Most of you who watch this video knows me and know that I live in Cape Town and one thing I absolutely adore about Cape Town is the amazing beaches and I love going to the beach. I love feeling the sand in between my toes, I love feeling the sun on my skin and just like the, the ocean air, the breath of ocean air, the breeze, what? I love the kiss of the sun on my skin as I walk along the shore. I just really like going to the beach and I always feel incredible after going. And I find that having grown up inland and then having moved to Cape Town, I was always so excited about going to the beach. But the longer I've lived here, the less and less I've actually been going to the beach. And the other day, Lou and I just like happened to go to the beach and go for a walk and it been a very long time since we'd done it and I was just so struck by the majestic views and the amazing ocean and just like the power of it all and how majestic all of it was and you know we really love doing it but we do it so rarely and you know it really got me thinking I said to myself I said self why do you allow your life to dissolve into a fog of familiarity and underappreciation I'm usually too preoccupied and busy, but sometimes, but sometimes I'm simply indifferent. I allow tending to life to blind me from the delight of it. This self is why paying attention really matters. Have you ever had a conversation with someone and mid-sentence while you're busy talking they pick up their phone and they're just like on their phone busy to start texting someone or even worse they like flip open Instagram and they just like start scrolling it. Yesterday I went to the shop to go and get some new shoes and you should have seen the sales lady she was just absolutely insane. She refused to help me because my feet were too big. I mean how upsetting! Hey dude, are you even listening to me? Your feet were too big. So yeah, I mean, she wouldn't help me because my feet were too... Literally standing there having a conversation with someone and they just pick up their phone and just start scrolling through Instagram. Or the phone rings and they answer it. Like, not even, oh sorry, oh sorry, gotta take this. No. And that really gets to me. I really try and be mindful of paying attention when someone's actually having a conversation with me and I really specifically try and avoid my phone when I'm in the presence of other humans. Because I find that your phone is a huge distraction. You really don't have to pretend to be fascinated or amazed by whatever that person is saying. Just pay attention and you will be so appreciated by that human. If you're actually listening to what that person is saying, you're adding value to your relationship with that person and that human's gonna appreciate you so much. Like, so much. It's so rare these days to have someone's full attention. I think attention is the new data. and. The best part of listening to someone is you might actually learn something new. Paying attention will add value to you because you will actually learn how to listen. And then paying attention will add value to other people because imagine how you're making them feel by giving them their undivided attention. How do you feel when someone gives you their undivided attention? Don't you just love it? Don't you love the fact that someone has taken the time out of their day to sit and listen and have a conversation with you and fully invest themselves in that couple of minutes that you guys get to spend together? So not only does paying attention 
add value to you as a person, but it also add value to other people around you. Paying attention will definitely make you feel a lot more grateful. Out of sight, out of mind. This applies to nearly everything that we cease to appreciate. So the more attention we start paying to even the smallest of things in our lives and the more attention we start paying to people, the more you will appreciate them. Fostering gratitude is one of the most important aspects of paying attention. It's an extremely powerful catalyst for leading a happy life. But being grateful for small little things in your life, you come to realize that good things are still happening to you. So the more grateful you are, the more things you notice are good in your life, the more you appreciate things around you, the more you pay attention. Paying attention will definitely help you to expand your perspective. People tend to stick to their own personal views without even giving a little bit of thought or consideration to someone else's side of the story or argument. For, for a productive discussion to take place between people, both ends need to be open-minded to what the other person is saying. You can't just go into a debate completely convinced that you're correct. Isn't that why it's a debate? You're there to raise your different opinions and perhaps maybe learn something new along the way and who knows, maybe change your opinion about something. I mean, have you ever watched a Joe Rogan or Jordan Peterson or Eric Weinstein podcast? These things go on for hours and hours and these people sit there and talk for hours and hours, giving each other their undivided attention. Do you think you'll be able to sit down with someone without your phone, without anything, and have a conversation for three hours without getting distracted. Expanding your perspective will allow for better leadership, for better innovation, understanding, relationships, and an increased tolerance of other people around you. And then lastly, paying attention reminds you that it's the little things that matter. The smell of freshly baked bread, the smell of freshly baked bread, the smell of freshly baked bread, baked bread, baked bread, the smell of freshly baked bread, a freshly, the smell of freshly baked bread, a newly mown, <laughs> it's like a tongue twister, <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> the smell of freshly baked bread, a newly mowed lawn, the smell of coffee, and just after it rained. The touch of the touch of your lover's hand or your best friend's hug. Sunsets and sunrises, mountains and beaches. The small moments are the big moments. Small moments matter. So pay attention to find the truth about situations and people as they are, not as you want them to be.